Hey everybody, Rodaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Kenshi Birth of a Hive episode 26. So, I had a little bit of a request about showing some stats at the beginning of the episode. So I'll try to get through this quickly. Here's Queen, Beep, Hela, Chez, Thor, Green, Sanghealy, Silvershade, Frenchie, Ron, Ray, Minus, Talon, uh, Honey, Cookie, Thorns, Red Rain, Ferris, Meat Pants, <laughs> Pillar, Oboro, Jay, Geyser, Angel, Heresy, Crab, Resnick, Skith, and Snowy. All right, so we left off. Um, we were heading home from the world's end. I do plan on setting out again soon on a new caravan mission, sort of a diplomatic mission of sorts, uh, but I want to get this group home now. Off camera, I've done a, a little bit of um, tinkering with settings to try to make it more stable, so I'm really curious if uh, that has all worked um, I'm going to prioritize battery, power, and capacity over most of these other researches that, uh, I'm really not going to be using. Uh, come on. It's not letting me drag anymore, huh? Alright, whatever. So we are heading home with the caravan, and then they're going to head back out on somewhat of a diplomatic mission, trying to make some allies. A few here or there. Maybe we'll swing by a lost armory and see what we could pick up on our way home. Never hurts to have more stuff, I suppose. I'm not really at the point where I can crack open a lost armory and take on the defenders of the lost armory. Uh, that day I am excited to hit. Oh, there's a big thing nest on the other side of this lost armory, though, so I'm going to have to be a little careful while when leaving. All right, let's grab someone that has backpack space, so maybe Frenchie. I'm holding left alt. I'm not seeing a thing. I picked this place over clean. Clean as can be. Uh, all right, so Guaro just, uh, just taunted me or whatever, but um, I moved away fast enough that I don't think it's going to be an issue. Oh, no, that's chasing me. Ah, if it catches me, I turn around and, you know, eat. That's oh, a little dark, but I think I think you all get get my message there. So I did receive a lot of tips, or a few tips at least. Um, so first things first, Roman Curious mentioned that uh, I really there are some other people that I have not hit up around in my neighborhood that I could check out for trade opportunities. I know exactly who he's referring to because he mentioned it by name. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but. Oh, that looks, that looks nice. That looks like a hive, doesn't it? The station house hive building maybe looks the least hive-like from a distance, but when you get close, it's definitely more hive-like. Oh, lucky me. So, I was heading home, and a cannibal raid is coming. So, I guess I'm going to stick around a while. Whoa! That leviathan went angry on me. I suppose if you're that big, you probably don't like when things sneak up on you, so... Again, uh, there seems to be a lost babbler or whatever that um, that needs a bit of a, uh, well, attitude adjustment. So, lost howler, I guess. Uh, one, two, three. I'm not trying to prioritize uh, certain players over others. It's just that uh, the other people in this caravan here are just... Um, these are really dangerous enemies, like extraordinarily dangerous enemies, and I need to make sure that I do the most damage possible. So I have three attack slots. I need my three hardest heavy hitters uh, fighting this guy, or we could die. Um, so it's not that I don't want to have these guys have fighting practice. 
on enemies this hard, there's not room for error. Because, there we go. Here's a perfect example. He just swung and did 84, 70, and 60. Or 59. Uh, mitigated 10 with armor. Uh, that is not a hit that some of these guys can take. Um, and then additionally, he's just going to keep hitting us until he's unconscious. So we need to be hitting him with the people that hit the hardest. Or, you know, peril. Certain peril. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what's going on there. Uh, but murdering him did yield us another club, another set of his weird armor, and uh, some tablets that I'm trying to make room for. There we go. Uh, Mr. Ron, you're going to give that up to Thorns. Don't carry your own weapon. He's like your page, I guess. And... Ron is a little slowed down due to that leg wound, but not enough that he won't be able to keep up with Minus. We want to get home because we do have a cannibal raid coming in. Uh, hello. Everyone should be following him. Uh, we have a cannibal raid coming in. And, uh, we're definitely going to want to be all present at home for it. In fact, it might not even be a bad idea to drag some of these, uh, spiders. Um closer to my base so let's have everyone run home and silver shade is going to be the spider lure uh-uh you ain't gonna eat me well i guess they don't eat me but you're not gonna chop me to bits whoa all right hold on i gotta do a little bit more micromanagement you this way you this way Oh, there's a lot of live spiders. Okay, so that's going to be good. Um, I don't know how large this cannibal raid is coming at me. But uh, whatever they are, there's going to be a plenty of spiders that I will have to thwart their uh, their efforts. Ooh, a whole lot of them. Alright. Move, move, move. As long as these spiders stop. Because <laughs> they're kind of running up on me pretty good. Alright, Silvershade. You seem to be the Spider Whisperer. Alright, though, one of those is active. Oh god, there's so many active. Why is there so many active? I really thought that my neighborhood was more cleared than this. God, I feel like... Steve Irvin trying to, like, wrangle crocodiles or something. All right, so there, there's a lot of spiders there to soften up the blow of the incoming uh, attack. Probably more than I even intended. All right, uh, they're not... How about we move... No, okay, I can't... Apparently can't move the um, trade order at all. Uh, that's fine. I just, I don't need to. Uh, the arm. Yes. So we, alright, I'm gonna put the arm in the, um, in the research bench. We have a new arm for Queen. Uh, I'll just keep the spare arm here, because I don't really have a place for robotics. And as you can see, she now has, um, well, let's, let's check out this arm. Because, so, my lockpicking thievery and swimming are down. But not my dexterity. The last one had a huge dex hit. Um, and crossbow hit. Which made it harder for her to do her job. But uh, this arm is not bad. It's, it's not the best arm out there. But it's not bad. Alright, so for these these books that I just brought home. I'm just going to get the rest of the um, research that I can done. Even though I'm really truly not planning on ever using it. Um, let's see what else we could do. We need to get the wounded that we have healed up because we're about to have a probably sizable cannibal raid at our doorsteps and it would only make sense to be healthy for it. Alright, so Thorns and Red Rain are ready to get picked up. Uh, 
uh, taking a look at their inventories. I suppose the... I'm going to put the raw meat, because there is no such thing as spoilage, uh, away. Um, so that we can cook meat wraps or something like that with them. Uh, these copper alloy plates are going to be useful because that will allow me to build the hemp. And I really don't need the giant uh, thing of armor on me either. But uh, I'm being very bad at being a Tetris master here. And There we go. Now it's in. Uh, then the leathers could go in the animal, or the skins can go into the animal skin. Alright, I guess I still have pants on me that I could get rid of. Maybe, if there's room. Oh yeah, there's room. I could always make more room. I mean, that's really not that much of an issue. And we have some madman clubs. Okay, uh, Jay, you are going to grab those cap copper alloy plates. And you know what to do with them. Done. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was I doing? Silver Shade and Frenchie. Put them in the beds. I really did not realize there were so many spiders right on the uh, on the edge of my the town. That uh, that surprised me. How many they were active? I don't know if they respawn or not. But if they do, uh, I yearn for the day where I can manage them myself. Alright, do a quick health check. I think everyone else is healthy. I can't imagine they wouldn't be. So, more tips that you all provided. Uh, Erasmus, Crow, Etu, Will, you all said that uh, one of the issues with Crab not dumping his, um, his weapons is he doesn't really have a backpack um, large enough to do it. So, for now, I'm going to have to do this uh, manually. But, uh, next time I'm in a position where I can grab a backpack, a large backpack, or a trader's backpack, or something like that, uh, I will go ahead and do that. So, the hemp processor is done, and... Uh, Jay, why don't you process hemp? when there's nothing else to do. So we also are eager, or I'm eager, to expand the... So we have two cactus farms, right? Um, that means we can put Angel back on the cooking uh, for anything that involves cactus, because now we have the two farms instead of the one. I think what I'm going to do is start with meat wraps. And have her grab all of the raw meat, just keep it on her back, on her person. And she will start turning bread and raw meat into meat wraps. And then we can change over to cacti. Alright, this raid is taking their sweet time. Please, please catch up. Or attack quicker. Oh, now I can switch some of the order of some of these things. I think some of it is prerequisites for other things, so they have to go in a certain order. So, like, lockpick training, for instance, can't go below lockpick training 2, and that's the issue. Yeah, that was the issue I was having. The game requires, you know, process of, uh, you know, order processes. Um, hmm. Oboro. Oboro, my friend. You are... You wanted to be a crafter. I'm going to have you start arrow making, because we'll have you be our crossbow crafter. And then, Geyser, uh, I'm going to have you be the miner that he used to be. And then, Jay, you're going to do fuel first and then hemp. That's sort of like an engineering task. So I'm really curious if the spiders that I sort of uh, lured into position are going to be enough to thwart the people that want to have me killed. I really don't know the answer to that question. Um, 
But again, curious. I guess it all it all depends on how strong that raid is, right? If the raid is a bunch of pushovers, yeah, that won't be an issue. If the raid is something rough, uh, yeah, then that will be an issue. And melting these down into raw iron, and then the raw iron can become plates in their future. So this is a really, really weird way of going about um, getting raw iron, but that's fine. We're we're we have a lot of ingenuity. Uh, who was supposed to be on? It was Heresy that was supposed to be on electricals. Okay, uh, that means that I need a backpack capable of moving that those electrical components, those trade goods. There we go. Meat pants can do it. And then when the caravan goes back out, there's obviously going to be a lot more that the caravan can uh, can take as I'm making a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I would say, given the amount of people that are kind of standing around, that a sort of meeting hall is probably like a great hall that has the ability to house everyone or almost everyone would be a really good idea. Ron, let's get Thorns and Red Rain out. So, I think my best defense against this uh, raid here will be just to guard the end, my end of the bridge and have them clash up against some tight point. Because what will end up happening, I think, is a lot of them will go into the water and become immediately somewhat ineffective as attackers. It's also possible I don't need to do anything, given the amount of, um, amount of iron spiders that are, you know... On the end there. So as you can see, the battery capacity that I had my batteries at, um, I haven't built any extra batteries, but I am storing a whole lot more power in this thing. Um, I'm drawing a lot more power as well. I actually am not even sure what I added to my grid here to draw more power. Uh, but what I could do is, for now, a little... Well, do I have... Yeah, I have a corpse furnace. A, another uh, generator. And I'll put this generator next to the first one. And Jay will dutifully construct them. He's already making some hemp. Or hashish. Whatever you want to call it. Not hemp. But hashish, hash. Um, that will be another trade good. But I have to be careful about who I sell that to. It's highly illegal in some cities. And the bag check at the gates. If they catch me with it. Uh, no bueno. Alright, so second generator. Now you are going to manage two generators. And as you can see here, my battery charge flying upwards because I have double the power generation. So here we go. We've got the uh, the raid incoming. Uh, so let's go ahead and start to do our um, defensive lineup. I will do this. I'm moving them individually because I don't want everyone in on this fight. Not everyone should be um, included necessarily, if I can help it. Alright, turn the job off so you don't go want to sit down. Thor, Chaz, Hella. Beep. I do know that I need to uh, look towards them, because right now I have my back turned and I can't really see what's going on. I accept that. Alright, you guys are going to stay over here. Beep. Job off and hold. Pillar, job off and hold. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. I definitely had a little bit of crash there. So, I'm going to try to get loaded up as fast as I can. And just roll in the credits until then. 
So about this, I did mention uh, last episode that I've been experiencing a whole lot of crashing, and I think I have worked out roughly the parts I want for a new computer tower, and uh, we'll be pulling the trigger on that in the upcoming week or two. All right, so what kind of time did we lose here? Um, let's roll back to game footage. Not a whole lot. The raid is really uh, about to clash up against those um, iron spiders again. So let's do a just a drag here and do this a little quicker. Everyone that we think should be fighting will be fighting. Uh, the health of these guys are all set. Alright, then on top of that, I think just so that um, they can get their shots in at an angle that doesn't harm anyone else, we'll have our rangers stand over here. And that way they also won't be messed with while doing it. Um, what else can we do? I think because we're not really uh, going anywhere, the encumbrance from really, really, really ridiculously large weapons is not that much of a problem, so... Ron and, uh, eh, we'll give it to Minus. Ron and Minus will get big bash clubs. I know there's more clubs to be had, uh, but I don't want everyone having one because the swing speed would be really, is really bad. And, um, and you really can't defend yourself when you're holding it because, um, because it's such an encumbering weapon. So it's sort of a, uh, let's say it's a Berserker weapon. Yeah. Alright, so we want to stack the front with taunters. And as you can see here, I'm putting all of my uh, soldiers on taunt. Most of them are on taunt already. Uh, some of them are on ranged, but that doesn't really matter if they don't have ranged weapons. Talon! Oh, right, you're a martial artist. You don't need a weapon. Cookie, Singhealy. Singhealy needs to get some action. Uh, I could also don the armor. In fact, uh, Honey, let me just send you to... Do I have armor? Yeah, I do have one set of armor. I think you all have a certain request about who wears it. Uh, it's not something I'm going to wear often. I do entirely plan on crafting up my own, but, um, but I think... I think the consensus is Ron in black is uh, is something to be feared. Uh, and you're not wrong. Alright, beep. Beeper. You need to be in front too, don't you? He wants to be a wonderful soldier. Oh, what the hell? A lost howler definitely spawned here. I didn't um, have one in my base. I'm not going to mess with him because... Why should I? He's not hostile with me at the moment. Uh, let's see. There is also the Madman's Great Club. Alright, Ray. Silent but deadly. You're going to have the Madman's Great Club. That is um, a club that hits even harder than Ron's. <laughs> so, let me, let me just give it to Ron real quick. We'll have Ron be something ridiculous here. That is ridiculous. All right, so we have somewhat of defense laid out. Uh, unfortunately, that Howler is going to... Well, he's dead because he walked into the water. Um, but here is the raid that's incoming. And they don't look like they're going to be slowed down by much. There looks to be a lot of them. I'm just making sure that my industry plugs away because... Sure, like, I have a big raid coming, but, uh, you know. I stop not for it. Wow, we are still working on the original light body wrap. Resnick, what is your armoring at? Oh, 21? Actually, it, it, this is a really good way to level up. Because I've used almost no resources, and I've gotten all, all skill. So, bonus? Alright, so these spiders were definitely aptly positioned 
Um, there is nothing but murder happening over there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna send uh, Talon. No, because these are active live spiders. Yeah, I'm not gonna send Talon anywhere. I kind of want to get that lo lost howler stuff. Uh, the raid failed. That somehow is not surprising. This was a unbelievable massacre. Um, now the issue is, of course, I really want to clean up the uh, the the stuff that we, you know, all the loot that potentially we could have access to. So uh, what I'm going to do is start to clear out the iron spiders myself with uh, crossbows. I think they're just aiming and not shooting. Hmm. I gotta be careful because I'm getting pretty close to these spiders. The Lost Howler is playing dead now. I really can't seem to get these guys to, these spiders to play ball. Alright, let's go to the land. There we go. It's good target practice at the very least. The kite and fight method. Make sure to run just far enough to get a volley or two. And then I'm not going to have green standing in front. So I don't know how skilled everyone is at precision shooting. Uh, I do see that there's one coming from behind. Oh, God, there is a lot. Why is there so many spiders around here? All right, they did manage to kill one. Um, yeah, they did manage to kill one, so Silver Shade's gonna ninja a piece off of him so that he doesn't, he's dead, you know, permanently now. The Iron Spiders, these guys were fighting, most of them were almost entirely unharmed. These spiders, so dangerous, so ridiculously strong. Uh, there was mostly just scrawny cannibals coming in on this raid, as you can see. Got caught stealing? Screw you. I guess even these scrawnies have a little bit of... Some of them have a little bit of armor. The idea here is I loot them and turn their, their gear into um, raw ore, right? So I, do, I will want another... Whoa, Jesus. I might want to just like lure these guys away from the base at this point. So, there should have been a raid leader in here somewhere. I don't know where they are. But yeah, I don't I don't even have enough bolts to take on all of these. Oh, Thorns, you're playing at limbs and eating corpses. Um, how about no? Because they also inadvertently ran right past uh, two live spiders that just seemed to be lodged in the water. Uh... Alright, so I think what I need to do, if I want to do any sort of looting of the bodies of these scrawnies that uh, got decimated, I need to start dragging these spiders away. So, I'm going to keep shooting them, but I'm going to lure them away. And uh, I'm also going to have to make sure that these dingbats don't run into the, uh, into the spider fest. Because there is no rescue. Like, from this death ball, there is no rescue. Like, you run into the center of this these spiders and there's just not there's not going to be pieces of you left to pick up i don't think come on spiders you're attacking the wrong dude all right so this is green green is just uh looting the dead or dying for their uh their iron the hardest most difficult way to do mining i'm not sure that the um the armor pieces that they have are worth anything but uh, we will find out soon, won't we? I'm also not seeing an obvious leader. Usually the leaders have um, better gear. The, war the raid leaders. But I don't see anyone that re represents uh, leadership here yet.
Maybe if they were smart, they left. Or it's also possible that given that I'm constantly having to run away from iron spiders, I haven't spotted them yet. All right, let's see what kind of uh, what kind of raw iron we get from this yield. All right, the really silver shade still being targeted. That seems highly uh, unbelievable, but oh, whatever. Um. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Hella. Yeah, alright, it does give some metals. That's not bad. Silver Shade doesn't have any. Green. Yeah, it, it, gives a, it gives a healthy amount of metals. God bless those scrawny little buggers for, you know, dying at my doorsteps. I'm a little concerned with the fact that green is constantly in combat. Um, or silver shade, rather. This guy is going to play dead until he is dead. Interesting tactic there. Um, I don't love how they're at my gates. But we're clearly shooting at something here. Or aiming? I mean, are there crossbow bolts going down range? I don't think so. What I need to do is wait for some sort of, like, apocalypse raid to come and clear all that out, right? Alright, so, in the interest of progress, let's go ahead and have our caravan... They'll probably have to swim, but have our caravan uh, head on out again. So that means removing the ridiculously weighty stuff. Uh, Ray and Minus, I will keep your clubs if I can hold them. Why this is becoming a thing, I don't know. We will be... Okay, so Thorns is almost at weight capacity holding those clubs. Oh, there was a, yet another club that I, I forgot about, but that's fine. We didn't end up using any of them. Um... Angel, where are you? You're in Keepers. Let's give you that raw meat. Uh, this has yielded probably a lot of... Yes, a lot of meat wraps. That's good. And then this armor is going to be sold. I, I really actually do want to wear Hiver armor if I can. Uh, I don't know how good it becomes because I've never used the Hiver uh, uh, add-on before. So... Uh, this is all sort of new to me. So, Thorns, if you have all of that... Okay, Thorns... Thorns is also so fast that even while someone encumbered, not going to have an issue keeping up. Um, so let's see here. We will fill Thorns' backpack with the uh, electrical components. And then Red Rain, likewise. And then I think I probably have plenty of fabrics. Uh, so let's go ahead and sell fabrics and electrical components i do uh let's keep the body wraps i do have some grog to sell as well skith has been grogging so and grog sells for a pretty penny all right everybody in the um in the caravan follow minus i don't know if minus is the fastest or the slowest swimmer but uh obviously we're swimming out of here our bridge is uh we got we got trolls that are uh are camping it pretty hard Oh my god, what a swarm. I guess that's a uh, get out of the next raid free card, right? <laughs> now, I really want to... That Lost Howler right there, I really want to get his loot. Um, I want to get his Shrieker tablets or whatever they are. As far as tech goes, yes, I have enough tablets, Shriekers to unlock something cool. So I can make my own red howler or yellow howler armor. I think you all think the red looks the coolest, so we can craft that up. Now, anything I craft myself, I can't wear because them's the rules, but um, um, oh yeah, he's dead. Oh no, he's playing dead. 
he's in the water. Yeah, well, as long as he's in the water, it's actually really hard to do kill him or anything. I'm busy swimming. Yeah, I know. I'm, I don't know how to get those spiders out. I really don't. I think we only really could do it with massive amount of force or waiting for a big Arbageddon sized raid to come and smash up against them. Alright, so I'm putting them all back to, you know, whatever. I, I don't need them to, um, to hang out and do nothing. Why was that? Oh, where was I? Oh, I was putting that. Okay, oops. I was like, why is there research books? And why isn't the fabric stacking? I had clicked the wrong thing. That's funny. All right, at this point, we probably have enough room for iron plates over here. Yes, we do. We've used a lot of the iron plates. That's something I'm going to have to keep track of, how many we are burning through, because... They're not renewable. Now that's probably going into the weaponsmith. And then Crab is cranking through them. Uh, totally fine, by the way. I don't have issues with my weaponsmith becoming better at weaponsmithing. Um, that is a good use of that iron plates. Now I am making some bolts. And at some point, probably pretty soon, I'm going to have to stop making bolts. Because I, I don't need to make... Um, yeah, I have 20. All right, so this will be the last one. Let's cancel the repeat queue. And now, Oboro, you are sitting around and you're going straight to the throne. All right, so when you have nothing to do, you can sit on a hive stool. Now, according to the map, there's still some of the cannibals are over this way. So yeah, there's a dead iron spider, or at least disabled iron spider here, that might have been uh, damaged or destroyed. Alright, I just encumbered Frenchie too much. Let's trade some to Silvershade. Twenty-one is still too slow. Let's give that to Ron then. Um Alright, so I see severed legs. But at present, I don't really see the cannibals themselves, even though there's red dots right here. Oh, no, they're right underneath me. Oh, he's... Okay, we just killed him. I didn't see you. He didn't even have a weapon. Uh, so is that that whole red... Yeah, that the whole red dot is gone now. All right. Never mind. False alarm. All right, we're going to head over to the Empire Watchtower and see if I've completely cleared that. Hello, active spiders. I feel like the active spiders are have increased... I really do. Now, it's entirely pot. Ooh, there's some more. It's entirely possible that I dedicate a little bit of time on someone and um, just lure a bunch of these iron spiders to the middle of the ocean where they're never going to pay anyone any attention and not be a threat anymore. And that might be something I have to do, um, you know, in the not-so-near future, or not-so-far future. Just because I'm I'm being camped out pretty hard. All right, so we don't have a lot of carry weight. I think Ron, you have the most, uh, just because you're strong or whatever. So let's pick up the things. I feel like I looted this more than what it appears to be looted, but I'm gonna pick up the things that I think can sell for a lot. Uh, power core. Electrical components don't weigh too much. Steel bars. Alright, 
he is full up. Uh, Ray, you have plenty of carry weight. We'll just keep doing this. Uh, some of the stuff I'm going to keep. Some I will sell. Alright, he says he's full up. That's enough room for fabrics, though. Just saw Gar whiz by me. I was a little worried. Got to keep watch about what's around me. All right, so pretty much everything else is ignorable. And let's head east to the Lost Armory area. Now, a reminder, there was a beak thing nest at the Lost Armory, so I don't want to run straight there because then I'll be in the midst, in the middle of the beak thing uh, feast, and I will be the food. So their nest was like right here, I think. I haven't loaded it yet. I haven't loaded the zone even. Yes, there it is. There is their nest. Um, unguarded. No, no, it. They are okay. They all. They all just. All the. All the people just loaded. Or people. Uh, all the big things just loaded in all at once. That is a frightening amount of big things. Again, if you're playing for yourself, it's entirely plausible and possible to just um, cheese the fight, and. Uh, Uh oh, that Leviathan is pissed. Cheese the fight and drag the them into swarms of Garu or um, a Leviathan or something, and get them all killed and crushed. But uh, it's not how I'm going to be playing, as I've said before. All right, so we have some tech hunters. And a lost babbler. I'm a little tempted to go back and kill the Lost Babbler, but uh, given that I'm about to be in the Cannibal Plains, I don't really want to have leg wounds and be slowed down because uh, all of my people are about at max encumbrance. We're really not going to be able to carry the injured uh, because we're so full up. So if I did get injured, I'd have to dump a bunch of trade goods. and That's just not proper caravanning, in my opinion. I think you all can agree. Throwing out the stuff you have slated to sell is probably not a good way to make profit. Alright, so we've gotten through all the battery capacity uh, queue. Now we have battery power. Um, these are high level techs, even though they're not requiring regular books, which means they take a little bit longer. And then after we get battery power 4, um, which, you know what, honestly, I don't even need. I'm going to put that at the bottom, just so that we power through. I, I will feel more accomplished having researched a bunch of stupid little training things that we're never going to use. And just getting that little blip of like, hey, research complete. Congratulations. Because uh, we really don't need that extra. Um, we don't need the extra uh, battery power. We don't really have a base requiring it. So we're now in the Cannibal Plains. As tempting as it is to pick a fight with a group of cannibals, um, you got to remember that the place is swarming with them. So you pick a fight with um, like this man catcher here, right? That, that's not a big group, but inevitably you're going to be fighting tenfold what you see because they're going to show up in the middle of the fight so unless you're insanely strong and you could just crush uh, a group real quick and just be gone without you know sustaining leg injuries or whatever um it's very advisable to do that and um because we don't really have any leg armor on really any of these guys like silver shade has shoddy armor ron has like high grade drifter pants uh that gives a little bit of resistance but it's it's not going to be enough to keep your limbs from being chopped off uh, from a, a hard hit from an elite. Um, not yet, at least. See, isn't it satisfying getting the research completes? It is, and you know it is. Uh, so these guys look hungry, but I don't really understand that because Ron has plenty to share. Is he just, like, hoarding all his backpack food for himself? He's not supposed to do that. Let me load the zone. There we go. I am now in the Hidden Forest. Haven't really spent a lot of time in here unless I was 
running by it um, uh, to try to get to the world's end. But there is a village here that is of some importance. There's a... So, in this game, the large factions tend to be... And this is a huge generalization, but they tend to be um, slavers, and they tend to be sort of evil, right? So, it gives you something to fight against. And each of the large factions are evil in their own way. Don't take another step. Alright, uh, who wants to do the talking here? It's not going to be Ray. Um... Let's see. Minus, you want to do some chatting? Oh, they're all... Okay, they're all following. So, what I need to do is... Is this the Faction HQ? Yeah, it is. Alright, so let's have everyone wait outside to not... I'm role-playing here. To not make the Faction squeamish, because I don't want to walk in with a bunch of soldiers. Um... There is someone here that has diplomatic status, and I need to find them. Because this is the Flotsam Ninja uh, HQ. And unlike... Well, alright, let's just talk to one of these guys. Alright, they're offering their... Uh... Okay, here's Maul. Here's who I need to talk to. Diplomatic status, yes. Alright, so, nowhere in the world is safe. People are either trying to burn us at the stake, or they're trying to eat us alive. But at least the cannibals are good for one thing, target practice. I'm going to say the truest words I ever did hear. Uh, then, yes. Then the con conversation continues. And she says, you know, ask whatever you want to ask. Uh, I'm going to say, can I join the Flotsam Ninjas? And... I am going to swear my allegiance to Flotsam here. It's going to piss off the Holy Nation, but that really, truly does not matter. Because the Holy Nation hates me anyway for just the species that I am. So, uh, it's all a net positive. So, if I take a look here, Flotsam Ninjas, I'm at a 76. Um, ooh, I have an upcoming raid uh, of Bone Eaters. So, they're obviously going to hit the spiders. And then, um, the Holy Nation... I don't even really care, but we've gone down to negative 75, but, uh, you know, that was, that was predestined. I mean, we never, ever, ever could have any sort of association with them, even if we wanted to. All right, so they do have some shops here, which is why I came. Uh, Frenchie, you want to do the talking on this one? Let's see. Or actually, Honey, let's have you do it. Here's a refugee that has a little chat bubble. I'd like to trade. All right, so they've got, they've got some stuff. Um, they hopefully nope. They do not have the type of backpack I'm seeking. Unfortunately, these are all animal backpacks. But um, black pick plate jacket is one of my favorites. So uh, minus is going to take that for himself because um, he had something shoddy on. They have blueprints for sabers, ring sabers, katanas, toppers, and uh, naginatas. I already have naginatas. I'm going to get by the toppers. Uh, and then we will go ahead and trade off our trade goods. Oh, uh, Thorns is... Where is Thorns? Oh, he's way not here. Come on, buddy. He got stuck on the terrain somehow. Alright, Honey, where is the... Uh, here he is. I'm gonna wait. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. Pretty much everything in Red Rain's backpack is gonna be traded. And look at my money. 25k. All right, and 36k.
and they're out of money. Um, do I want to buy the ability to craft katanas? No, uh, I can't use it. So I'm going to pass. Uh, there's other places to hang out in here. So let's take a look at the other buildings. Here's a bar. Uh, for this, it has to be a prince that does the talking if there's people to recruit. There are people to recruit, but they're not hivers. Uh, top floor included. Okay, well, whatever. Show me your goods. Um, they don't have any maps or anything like that. I will keep the repair kit for now. Oops, shopkeeper can't afford that either. We're making bank here. But as you can see, another good place to uh, to pop over and uh, check for recruits and do some selling and stuff. And also make an ally. It is our first ally, so um, that could come to our benefit. Let's say we get knocked unconscious and a, uh, a group of flotsam ninjas happen upon us. They will patch us up and try to rescue us as a result. The joys of having an ally. And also, if we're heading to World's End, we are just a stone's throw from World's End. So, uh, this is not so much a, um... Cannibal Hunters, okay. Uh, I was like, sometimes it's like, Cannibal Hunters. Are you hunters that hunt cannibals, or are you cannibals that are hunters? Hmm. I, uh, sometimes can't tell. So yeah, uh, anytime we are headed to World's End, we can pop over to Flotsam Village, uh, hang out with Maul, and uh, do some trading with them. And I'll probably even preferent preferential bleh, words, man, preferentially uh, trade with uh, the Flotsam Ninjas, given that they're an ally now. I think that makes sense to prefer trading. All right, so here's a big question: Do I need regular science books anymore? I don't think. I do, but I have to do a... Oh, you know what? I do need two for rice farming, but that's, I think, it. And I don't need to buy those until I have rice. Oh, no, I need um, ten more. There's turret training and advanced training dummies. And advanced training dummies might actually open up some other things. So, yeah, I'll still buy science books. Um... All right, Frenchie, you're up. Any hivers? None on the first floor. Uh, none on the second floor. See if you have anything I'm after. Oh, you still have... Okay, so... No, that's Leviathan Pockets. Man, that looked like the right backpack for a second. I think I've been here so recently that their, uh, their inventory really hasn't turned over. Is maybe part of the issue. Uh, I do want one of these backpacks. The, uh... No, I don't want to wear it. Oh, I don't have space. Uh, because we have a lot of people that need to haul, like, bulk items back at the base. So that backpack helps you stack it. Some backpacks, like the Trader's Good, they come with huge combat penalties, but it allows you to stack goods up real high. You know, rather than have individual, um, stacks or whatever. And then, uh, and then the the combat ones obviously don't do enough, uh, don't do a whole lot of stacking, and you don't, can't have both. Either you get oodles and oodles of storage, or um, no combat penalties. But there's not really both. Again, nothing over here. Second floor is probably free of hives. Yep. All right, up here, no hivers. And down here, we do have some. But none of them will talk to me. Meaning, oh, this one will. He is a prince. Um, so I can't recruit him without a queen. And then everyone else is not to be recruited out. Well, at least... Uh, at least there is an update, and there's some additional people here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... There. Now we have ten sleeping bags. So worst case scenario, everyone needs to rest up. We can. A uh, little pricey, but uh, nothing I can't afford. Let's go into the travel store. 
And then the other thought is maybe getting a really, really nice robotic arm for Queen because Queen's been... Um, oh, so here's medium... I don't know the dimensions of a medium backpack off the top of my head, but I guess I'll buy one uh, and see if that's what I want. Uh, Fishing Village UC, sure. Tower of Goats, sure. And the books, yes. All right, let's see. On the map, the things we just discovered. Um, that is the Tower of Goats, and this is a teeny little fishing village. Cool. All right, uh, let's trade with Red Rain. So dimensions of this backpack are not wide enough for the stave stuff that we're making. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, someone will use it. It is pretty much the same dimensions as the Thieves backpack, but as you can see, uh, encumbrance reduction, 60%, combat skill bonus, minus two, and no changes to athletics or combat speed or any of that jazz. And then this one is encumbrance reduction, 50%, and then a hit to both uh, combat speed, stealth, dodge, and a larger combat skill bonus. So, um, the regular backpacks come with far greater penalties. Um, Alright, Cookie, you're up. I have no idea what I'm going to trade here. I guess... Yeah, they, you, you really don't have anything that I could even benefit me. Um, let's check the crossbow store. I can make toothpicks. Cool. Yeah. That's useful. Uh, Alright. And then last but not least, we wanted to check out the uh, mechanical shop. See if there's a better arm for our queen. Oh no, this is not that kind of mechanical shop. Again, I mentioned that I can't buy those books. Um, outpost, advanced outpost blueprints. Well, I will eventually need it, but I don't think I'm going to tie up my money buying it until I do need it. Um, all right, so I'm going to buy their iron plates and maybe some steel bars and copper alloy plates. Just so that if I need them, I have them. All right. This was not a recruiting run, or at least not a successful one. Oh, what is this? Headgear shop? I'm sort of curious. What kind of headgear they are selling? Straw hat. Didn't I already research this? Maybe I didn't. Iron hat. Yeah, I'll just buy both. They're expen The second one was expensive, but... Knowledge is power, right? Okay, let's follow Minus and head to the fishing village. That should not have too many enemies camping out there. They might have some backpacks for us. Um, may not, I don't know. And what I'm going to do real quick is just to stack up the... Uh, oh, we still have a uh, skeleton eye. I guess I can sell that at uh, the village we're headed to. In the interest of unencumbering our individual characters. There we go. Minus. Off you go. Uh, it's probably pretty certain that Crab sitting on the throne. Yeah, I could see that happening. I need to... Babysit him a little bit better. So I think what I could do is... Oh, there's already another staff there. What I will do is switch from staff to iron club because they will fit better. Chez. I think his stool was probably taken. He was like, ah, there's nowhere for me to sit. All 
right? Come on. Load. There we go. Always makes me a little nervous to load. But soon I may have a better computer. The joke is, of course, my current one is from 2014. Can you believe it? Cannibal Raid is heading towards me. So do I have time to... Um, all right, I'm not that far from the fishing village, and I know that I have a crazy amount of iron spiders sitting on my bridge, so I'm going to continue what I was setting out to do. Uh, there's a bunch of scrawny cannibals in this town. Interesting. All right, let's go have a little fight. I'm not going to have Ron sport his uh, big weapons here. I don't think they're really warranted. Scrawny cannibals, at this point, are not uh, not an enemy that I can't handle. As, as, as long as they're not in mass. Um, Alright. Frenchie, you've got the bag space. Let's go clean up their, their clubs. Because their clubs will be lovely iron for our tribe. And trade this to Red Rain. Ooh, maybe not Red Rain. Maybe Thorns? Barely Thorns, either. Um. Alright. Uh, Frenchy, let's go into the bar. See if there's anyone to recruit. Bar fisherman. No, not really. Again, we're here on trade. Alright, so fishing equipment, I think, is bugged, because I've researched that two or three times now. Um, is there a backpack? Grillo. Scavengers. How big is the scavengers? Oh, well, it's not pricey. It probably sucks, but it's not pricey, so let's go see. Eh. Mm. It's, I'm just going to sell it. Because it's, it's encumbrance is bad. I mean, it's, it's encumbrance reduction is bad. Um, I don't really need it. Alright, well, then, that is all that I can do in this town, unfortunately. So, guys, I'm just about out of time. I want to apologize for the single crash that I had, but I hope it wasn't too interruptive. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, do drop me a line, and I do hope that you tune in next time. Thanks to all the patrons that have been supporting this channel. Uh, there's been a good many of you signing up uh, as a patron because you've enjoyed this. And thanks to all the viewers that continually tune in uh, day after day to see what this crazy hive is up to. Adios all.